Hey guys, IGN Summer of Gaming announcements has started early with At Games releasing information on their two upcoming products, Legends Pinball and Pinball Mini. Let's check it out. It looks like At Games has jumped the gun to get their announcement out before RK went up, which is due today. They'll be releasing two new pinball products, a home size pinball. No, it's not a full size. We'll cover that in the dimensions. And also a mini version. And at this stage, both will come with 10 games installed. Though that is not confirmed. A placeholder image on their website showed a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle artwork, but At Games has already claimed this is just a placeholder image and not confirmed. So take that with a grain of salt. And the image has now been removed from their website. So let's talk about the Legends Pinball Mini. On the website, it stated as, the Legends Pinball got hit with a shrink ray. The Legends Pinball Mini is here. So for them to call it the Mini, it's definitely not a three quarter size because that wouldn't make sense since the Legends Pinball is very close to three quarters, which could only mean this will be a bar top style pinball. Price or features have not been released, but I suspect more info will become available soon. So it looks like At Games is not just entering the virtual pinball market, they're also extending to subcategories, which is a smart move. Though the rumors have not been confirmed by Toy Shop or RK1UP about their bar top versions, but it looks like At Games will be the first to release their bar top onto the market. I will suspect the price will be around two to three hundred, and hopefully with the same features as the Legends Pinball. Let's quickly run through the press release info that was shared with the community early today, and some placeholder information that can be found on their website. So they are targeting Q4 as a release date, which coincides with Toy Shock and Arcade release timelines. So Christmas is looking really good for us big boys, but also bad for our bank account. So make sure you get your pre-approval from your finance managers, aka wife, in advance, guys. The dimension is set to be 67 by 38 by 23 which is 177 meters in height, 97 centimeters length, and 58 centimeters width, which is quite odd. It is not true three quarter, nor full size. The back height is about 90% of a full size pinball, but the length is only seven centimeters longer than the toy shop. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this pinball looks like when it's revealed. The main screen is a whopping 32 inch LCD. So this is the biggest offering in comparison to Toy Shock and RK One Up's 24-inch screen. No details about it being recessed or not has been released, but after seeing RK One Up version at CES, you will hope they recess the screen as well. The main screen protector is set to be glass instead of the plastic that can be found in Toy Shock and in expecting in the RK One Up. This is definitely a preferred finish, but let's hope the packaging is improved since the Legends Ultimate, as this will become quite fragile. The secondary screen on the backboard will be a 14-inch color LCD which will act as a DMD and also allow interactive features, which makes sense as this is a Wi-Fi enabled cab, which adds flexibility and it also reduces the cost. Like the Legends Ultimate, the other features such as Wi-Fi, Ethernet, USB, BYOG is standard and what makes the Legend Ultimate such a desirable unit, especially with, especially with the weekly firmware updates. And this will be no difference for the Legends Pinball, I meaning you can access Steam, which has access to Pinball FX and Pinball Arcade, so you're not limited to inbuilt tables. And if you're not happy, I assume BYOG means you can bring your own, own games, such as coin ops. The pinball specific features are the physical plunger, like the toy shop. No word on haptic feedback or accelerometers at this stage, so fingers crossed there. They will have adjustable legs to cater for all types of players. Probably a well-documented complaint with toy shops, so it makes sense for the competitors to have adjustable legs. Live streaming, now that's a cool feature. They just need to enable interactive functions so we can interact on the stream. Online share screen, party play, which sounds like an online multiplayer feature, but no info is released at this stage. So we'll wait until we get more information on that. Now the price, the MSRP is set to be 600 US, which is amazing value for what the information that was released today. We're talking about a 32 inch play, play field, plus a 14 inch color LCD on the backboard and not to mention all the other extra features that make this machine very expandable. So with RK1 up targeting around 5 to 600 and Toy Shock around 500, this Legends pinball is set to be a market leader if all the hype become a reality. However, the true bottleneck of At Games, it will always be the supply. Till this day, the Legends Ultimate is still sold out. So the true success of the Legends Ultimate is yet to be seen this day due to the At Games unable to produce enough stock to meet its consumer group. In 2019, based on the public information, they only manufactured around 4,000 units. And for 2020, about 1,500 units has, has arrived in the US shores, which is peanuts in comparison to the 1 million RK 1UP units sold by tastemakers. International accessibility is still a problem. Other than the US, no other country can actually access the Legends Ultimate. 
Okay guys, that's all for today. I don't want to go into details with in comparison with RK One Up and Toy Shop. Maybe I'll do that for another video. Make sure you sub to the channel if you haven't. And I'll continue to provide the latest news for the upcoming products announced at the IGN Summer of Gaming. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.